now we are going to understand the project that we are going to build this is the page with the header section first and hero section and uh, about the author of this ebook that we are going to sell and the things that we are going to learn with this ebook and testimonials and bonus offers and again testimonials then the call to action section and under that you have social icons also and to understand this total pages uh, grids and columns format you, you I will recommend a course created by me a free one understanding bootstrap grids and columns if you can take this course then it will be a lot of help for you to understand the grids and columns and it will help for this course also uh, I am going to now explain about columns and rows in bootstrap generally we have the understanding that uh, columns are these ones first column second column third column fourth column there are four columns in this table and three rows like this first one second one and third one and like this in bootstrap also there are columns and rows if you go to the page that you are going to build total page has left margin like this and the right margin like this therefore in bootstrap to create this kind of a margin from left and right we have a code a class named container we can apply this class to the div and it means from the left and from the right there will be a margin for the page and also there is a challenge for you a question the question is by looking at this section this total section can you tell me how many rows and columns that you can see you might be thinking okay this is a row this is a, another row then this is a column and this is another column like that you can divide but in bootstrap there is a little difference and I will tell you it in the next video okay now we check the answers this one would be the first row the biggest one and inside that row we have another row on the top and another row in the bottom inside the top row we have one column to the left and another column to the right okay and in the bottom row we have one column to the left and another column to the right okay this is great okay you have given the correct answers I think but the problem is when we decrease the screen size the things that would happen okay when the screen is bigger you have the complete vision of the rows and columns and when the screen is getting smaller and smaller we have to we have to be having different sizes with different columns and rows when we decrease the screen sizes and increase the screen sizes therefore in the next videos we will discuss on creating columns and rows for different screen sizes okay now we are going to create the page before creating the page we if we look at the page the total page has left margin and the right margin therefore first we should create those margins to create those margins we go to the text editor and create a div with the class container and what we type next the total content of the page should be inside this container therefore what we type next will be inside the container everything that we need for the page will be inside this container to see this clearly we go with the style sheet to body we apply 
the background color black I have a color code and then we apply the white color to the container the background color is white when you go to the page and reload it gets black because there is nothing inside the container to test whether it is working or not we go with index file and type h1 and inside h1 we type something that is not important and save and reload we see that okay what we type is limited to the container and there is a margin from left and from right now we are going to create the first row of our project this is the first row row number one it contains the logo to the left side and the content to the right therefore we go with the text editor and remove this h1 tag and go with the class row and put it inside the div and inside the row we have two columns this is the first column column number one and to the right you have another column therefore we go to the text editor and write to separate divs with the column class with the class col and another one with the class col okay we have two columns now we should put our logo to the left column therefore we go to the text editor and this is our left column before writing everything we should have names for every column and row therefore we go with the row and write row and make it a comment and we end this row right here and we write end of row and for the columns also we write logo and here we write end of logo then he here we write logo text and comment it out and copy and to the end we write end of logo text okay now we can see things clearly this is this section is the place for logo therefore we input the logo image img tag inside that we go with the logo url i have here logo.png and for alt we write logo and when we go to the browser and reload you see something like this logo is on the left side and we should be having the text to the right the text is a complete guide to earn online we go to the text editor and this is the text section inside that we write with the tag h1 a complete guide to earn online and you go to the browser and reload okay we have that clearly but the problem is somewhat to the right the text is to overcome this challenge we should be having clear knowledge about columns in this row and the space that is and the space that the columns take to understand this we go to the text editor here you can see a row is created here the row means inside the row you have 12 columns in default inside this row it means inside this total section you have 12 columns we go to the browser and understand this further if I draw this this is the total row that we have 
inside this total row we can divide this into 12 it means divide it into 12 like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are not equal but they equal in my drawing but they are equal 1 2 again 1 2 3 in total you have 12 columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 therefore we can have, we have to mention how many columns that the logo and the logo text should take here the logo doesn't have any problem but the logo text is having two lines therefore we should tell that this logo text should take around eight columns something like this eight columns mean if you change the color eight columns mean something like this one two three from the right I count one two three four five six seven eight somewhere like this this is the total width of the logo text therefore we have to tell the browser that this is the total width of the logo text therefore we go to the text editor and write here this is the logo text we write columns and the space is 8 because this has 8 columns the logo has around 4 columns therefore we should mention that also therefore we go to the logo section and write call 4 and when we reload the browser we see that okay now it is perfect we will compare this with the original design this is the original design when we compare this is the row that we have and inside that row we have four column logo image and eight column logo text and when we look at it further we see that there is a padding from the left and from the right and from the top and the bottom it means this one is not having padding therefore we should add that to add the padding we should add the padding to the row therefore we type padding and we have numbers in bootstrap 1 2 3 4 5 only therefore each number has uh, a separate uh, assigned number therefore if we write p1 it means padding 1 apply to the total row if we reload you can see that okay some padding is added from left right top and bottom if we go to the maximum padding number you can go with p5 and reload the browser it is very high therefore if you need only top padding you can type pt it means padding top therefore if we type pt2 and reload it means padding top would be two points and if we compare with the original design okay original design has a little difference we have to center the content of every column therefore we have to center the content of uh, the right column it means which has the length of 8 and we have to center the logo also in the column which has the length of 4 therefore we go to the browser and to center we have a separate class we need to center this logo of four columns inside four columns we need to center this text inside eight columns therefore to center this logo inside four columns and to center this logo text inside eight columns we can apply the center class to the total row the class is text center and we reload we can see that now it is centered the logo is centered inside the four columns and the logo text is centered inside the eight columns 
and that's all when we consider the logo and the logo text for the larger screen sizes. Now we are talking about adjusting the logo for different screen sizes. Bootstrap has five different screen breakpoints. It means we can design different styles for different screen sizes. The first screen size is the extra large screen size. It is the screen size for the rest of computers which have the screen width larger than 1200 pixels. Here on the screen you can see that my browser is taking the full width of the screen. Now the screen size is larger than 2200 pixels. When I decrease my browser size, I go to the large screen size. It means its width is greater than 992 pixels but less than 1200 pixels. Its screen size is also for the desktops with comparatively small screen sizes. In this large screen size, you can see that the logo and the logo text are appearing without any issues. If I further reduce my browser width, I go to the medium screen size. This screen size is for the tablet computers with the, the medium screen size. This screen size is for the tablet computers with the screen width greater than 768 pixels and less than 992 pixels. Here you can see that the logo text is appearing in two lines, but it is not disturbing the page. If I further reduce my browser width, I go to the small screen size. This screen size is for the landscape phones with the screen width greater than 544 pixels and less than 768 pixels. Here we can see that the logo text is not appearing very good. It is also disturbing the page content. We will learn how to change it in the next videos. If I further reduce my browser width, I go to the extra small screen size. This screen size is for the portrait phones with the screen width less than 544 pixels. Here also we can see that the logo text is not appearing very good. It is also disturbing the page content and we will learn how to change it in, the, in a little moment. Look what happens to the logo and logo text when I increase the screen size. Extra small to small, then small to medium, then medium to large and large to the extra large. Now I go to the text editor. Here you can see the COL class. COL means the number of columns for all the screen sizes. COL4, I call it call4. Call4 means the div will take four columns for all the screen sizes. Now I change the number of columns to 12. It means the items in the div will take the total width of the parent element. Therefore, 12 means the full width. You can see that I have applied 12 columns for the logo and 12 columns for the logo text. Therefore, this logo image and the logo text will take the full width inside the container. When I increase the screen size, you can see that this will not change. The logo, take, the logo takes the full width and the logo text also takes the full width. But you might say that the items do not take the full width and they are in the center. But the truth is that these items take the 12 column full width but with the text center class, the logo and the logo text appear in the center. But I need the logo to take the width of 4 columns and the logo text to take the width of 8 columns. I also need these 4 columns and 8 columns to appear for only large and extra large screen sizes. Now I'm going to explain the bootstrap screen sizes shortcuts. These are the shortcuts in bootstrap for screen sizes. Bootstrap has five levels of screen sizes. They are extra small, small, medium, large and extra large. The first screen size is the extra small and above screen size. It is denoted by C-O-L-O, C-O-L-X-S and it is applied for every screen size. It means for extra small, small, medium, large and extra large screen sizes. For everything, C-O-L-O, C-O-L-X-S screen sizes are applied. The second class is for small and above screen sizes. It is denoted by C-O-L-S-M. It is applied for small, medium, large and extra large devices. The third screen size is for medium and above screen sizes. It is denoted by COLMD and it is applied only for medium, large and extra large devices. The fourth screen size is for large and above screen sizes. It is denoted by COLLG and it is applied for large and extra large devices. And the last screen size is extra large 
screen size. It is applied for extra large screens only and it is denoted by COLXL. If I go back to my original requirements, what I need to do the screen size, logo columns and logo text columns. This is what I need. On the left side you can see what I need for extra small, small and medium devices. On the right side you can see what I need for large and extra large devices. On the left side you can see for extra small, small and medium devices I need the logo and the logo text to appear separately taking the full width. And on the right side you can see the large and extra large devices the logo will appear on the left and the logo text will appear on the right. If you look at the next table, it shows how the logo and logo text should appear. And these are the classes for logo COL12 and COLLG4. This means the logo will appear separately for every screen size. It means COL12. And COLLG4 means for larger and extra large devices, it will take only four columns. Therefore, COL12 is overridden by COLLG4. And therefore, for extra small, for extra small, small, and medium devices it will take 12 columns and for large and extra large devices it will take 4 columns and it is same with the logo text col12 means for every screen size the 12 columns are applied and colg8 means for large and extra large screen sizes 8 columns are applied therefore col12 is overridden by colg8 it means for extra small small and medium devices the width will be 12 columns and for large and extra large devices, the width will be 8 columns. Now I am applying those things in my text editor. For logo, I apply COL12 and COLLG4 classes. And for logo text, I apply COL12 and COLLG8 classes. And I reload the browser. Now you can see that for extra large screens, logo takes 4 columns and logo text takes 8 columns. If I reduce my browser width and go to the large screens, it is appearing same width. Uh, 4 columns logo and 8 columns for logo text. But when I go to the medium size, it has changed. Now the logo takes the full width of the 12 columns and the logo text also takes the full width of 12 columns. Therefore, the logo and the logo text appear separately. When I go to the small device screen size, it is also same. And when I go to the extra small devices screen size, it is also same. Now we are going to change the font of the page. If you look at the original design, the logo text has top padding. In Bootstrap, creating padding is very easy. This is the padding chart and PT is applied for padding top, PB is applied for padding bottom, PL is applied for padding left and PR is applied for padding right. And PX means padding for X axis. It means left and right. PY means padding for Y axis. It means top and bottom. Therefore, I go to the logo text section and apply padding for the top. I go with PT. I go with PT2 and I reload the browser and here we have the text with the padding applied. And also you can see that there is a horizontal line below the logo and logo text. And to apply it, we use the HR tag in the CSS. The horizontal line should be applied below the row of logo and logo text. Therefore, I go to the end of the row and apply the HR tag. And when we reload the browser, we don't see the horizontal line. It is because there is no content below the line. When we add content in the coming videos, you will see the horizontal line appearing clearly. Now we are going to add the font. The font name is Meriwether. We go to the search engine and type the Meriwether font and we find it in the Google Fonts website. And you have to select the font in the website and in the panel of selection we copy the CSS code for the font and now we go to the style.css file which is located in the CSS folders of our project under the body tag paste the CSS code for the font and when we reload the browser we can see that the font has changed and also I see that the logo text is somewhat different therefore we change the logo text to be similar to the original design we change the capital letters to the simple letters and now we can see that the logo and the logo text now appear smoothly when we decrease the screen size they appear great therefore now we have created the logo and the logo text for every screen size now we are going to design the book and the book order text when we talk about the structure of the page 
the book and the book order text has a big row and inside that row there are two columns column on the left for the book and column on the right for the order text therefore what we see is a row first and inside that row on the left side a column for the book and on the right side a column for the book order text therefore let's create the row first let's write it row and we name the row with the comment hero section we call it hero section and inside the row and inside the row we need two columns one column for the book and one column for the book order text and the column for the book is also commented as book image and column for the book order text is also commented as book order text And in the book image column, we apply the class COLXL6. It means for extra large devices, it will take six columns. And for the book order text also, we write COLXL6. It means for extra large devices, the book order text will also take six columns. Therefore, now we design the page for extra large size. Then we add the image in the book image column. It is the image that I already have. Book 2 image and when I reload the browser I see that it is not appearing great therefore we have to make the image responsive to make the image responsive I apply the class IMG fluid IMG fluid will make the image responsive therefore I go to the browser and reload I see that the image is now responsive taking the six columns although it takes the six columns we don't need the book to take six columns it means in the original design we have a different size for the book to understand that size theory we now divide that column into 12 again it means what we apply what we add inside the column will also have 12 columns therefore to understand that we go to the original design and add those 12 columns now you can see that the book is also inside the 12 column grid in the 12 column grid one, two, three, four. there are four columns that are having no content after those four columns we have the book the columns that don't have the content we call it offset therefore we have on the left side offset four columns with no content after those offset four columns we have the book image and the book image is taking only six columns Therefore, what the structure here is four columns offset and the book is taking six columns. And therefore, we go to the browser and change the image size. Therefore, we go to the image classes and type COLXL6. It means the image should take six columns and offset we add four for Excel size. It means from the left side, four columns are having no content. And we go to the browser and reload. We see that, okay, it is now applied the four columns of set and six columns book image space now we are going to create the book order text if you look at the book order text it takes around 10 columns of the total of 12 columns if you count it you get it one by one first 10 columns are occupied by the book order text and the button we go to the text editor and type call excel 10 it means the total of 12 columns the text takes around 10 columns and inside that we write 
paragraphs earn from first and then freelancy and then the ultimate guide and we add some dummy text and when you go to the browser we see that the text is appearing okay it doesn't take the total width of the 12 columns it takes around 10 columns then we add the button it takes around 10 columns then we add the button in bootstrap we go with the button tag and we add the class btn for every button and we decide the color of the button for that we apply btn primary btn primary means the blue color and we go to the browser and reload we see that there is something in blue but we don't see any text the text includes the order now words therefore we add that order now when we reload we see that the text is appearing in the button but if you compare with the original design the original design is taking the full width of 10 columns therefore to apply the button for the total width of 10 columns we have to go with the class btn block when we apply that class of btn block and when we reload we see that the button is appearing with the width of 10 columns and also in the original design we see that there is padding applied for the button therefore we go with the text editor and type p3 we apply padding 3 p3 means padding 3 for every direction top bottom left and right and we need to edit the color also therefore the original color has to be changed therefore we go to the css file style.css and edit the btn primary class we go with the background color of red i have a pre-made color and we reload we see that the black background color is changed and also the font size has to be increased therefore I go with the font size 2 rem and when we reload we see that the font size is okay compared with the original design and it's a blue border appearing therefore we need to change it change that also therefore we need to change it the border we go to the style.css file and apply the border with the white color and when we reload we see that the border is now appearing great with the white color and also we need to change the hovering effect it means when we put our mouse pointer onto the button we see the blue color we have to change it in order to change it we go with btn primary hover and change the background color to a kind of a dark blue color i have a pre-made color code and also we need to change the border color to white therefore when we reload we see that okay and we have a, a mouse pointer onto the button we see that it's appearing it's appearing great now we need to edit the text in this uh, section therefore we add some classes for the paragraphs first one we add t1 second paragraph we add t2 third one we add t3 these are not bootstrap classes it is from my concept it means these are created by me therefore we now try to edit earn from text with the class of t1 when you look at the original design it is somewhat bigger and therefore we go to the text editor and style.css and type t1 class dot t1 when we edit i increase the font size to 1.5 rem and the line height to 1, 1 rem and when we go to the browser and reload we see that it is somewhat similar to the original design now we are going to edit the freelancing text it has the class of t2 and therefore we go to the style.css or we go to the style.css file and type t2 and we need to increase the font size i go with the font size 2.5 rem and also the text in original design is in capital letters we can change simple letters into capital letters with the bootstrap classes therefore we go to the paragraph and write text uppercase therefore the text is now converted into capital letters when we reload the browser we can see that the freelancing text is appearing in capital letters 
and also we need to change the font weight of the freelancing text therefore we go to the CSS file and change the font weight we apply the font weight to 600 and we go to the browser and reload we it appears great and also we see that the total text is centered in the original design therefore we have to apply the text center class to the main parent due and when you go to the browser and section is now centered now we are going to edit the text of the third paragraph the ultimate guide therefore we apply the class t3 we see that the t1 and t3 are same therefore we add t1 and t3 to the style.css file and reload you might see they are same but when we compare with the original design there is a little different we will edit it next we go with t4 class for the dummy text and we increase the font size to 1.2 rem the line height is also increased to 1.4 rem and when we reload the browser we can see that it is appearing good but when we compare with the original design there is a little difference the total section has to come down therefore we go to the index.html file and put the total section downward it means the total section means the total row therefore to put the total row downward we add the padding y axis for excel screen size 5 it means for excel screen sizes padding y will be 5 when we reload the browser the browser we see that it is applied but when we compare with the original design there is a little difference of the book order text it is because we have applied t1 and t3 with the same design therefore we have to separate those designs so padding should be applied for book order text therefore we go to the book order text and apply padding y4 and reload the browser you might see around 90% same design and when we totally compare with the design we see a little difference with the earn from text and the ultimate guide text there's a little difference this is because we applied the same style for t1 and t3 we increase the line height of t2 to 2 rem and see but still the difference is there Therefore, we go to the index.html file and apply padding top 2 to the freelancing text and reload. Still, there is padding should be applied to ultimate guide text. Therefore, we separate the T3 section and apply the same styles, font size 1.5 rem. But we do not apply the line height section. Therefore, when we reload the browser, we see that, okay, it is appearing great. Now we have finished the design for extra large screen size. We have finished designing for the extra large screen size. Now we are going to look at how to design for the large screen size. When we decrease the size of the browser, we see that when we reach the large screen size, the page is not appearing great, especially the image. It is because we have applied the design for extra large screen size only. Therefore, when we shrink our design, we decrease the screen size and in large screen size, the text is not appearing great text and the image especially. To edit that, we go to the text editor and we see that we have applied only XL classes. Now we are designing for large screen size. It means LG class. We can go with the book image and type called LG6 to get the same design and therefore we can remove call xl6 and add call lg6 it means for large and extra large screen sizes and extra large screen sizes the columns will be six columns and therefore now we change all excel classes into lg classes therefore we change py xl to py lg and we change the offset also xl to lg and the second column we change it to LG and the text part also we change it to LG 
and when we reload the browser we can see that it is appearing good except the image size to change the image size we have to look at the grid layout of the image size therefore when we compare with the original design we see that the image is not appearing good in this grid design we can see that there are four columns offset it means there are four columns with no content after that the book is taking eight columns around eight columns therefore we go to the browser and change those lg designs to excel in image part we change those lg designs into excel designs because we need to apply a separate design type for lg therefore we have changed it now we apply lg classes call lg4 for the book text and there is offset of lg4 therefore therefore when we reload the browser we see that it is appearing good now we have designed our page for extra large and large screen sizes but when we decrease the screen size we can see that the image and text are not appearing great because we haven't applied any design when we compare the original designs layout we can see that there are four columns to the left with the offset and the book is taking around four columns this is for the md screen size therefore we go to the text editor and type call md4 for the book and offset md4 for the offset it means the space on the left and when we reload we can see that it is appearing without any issue but there is a little difference it is because of the padding when we compare with the original design we can see that the image is moving down in the original design therefore to move the image section down we have to move the hero section downwards therefore we apply padding to the y axis to the y axis it means py i go with the number 2 py2 is applied to the hero section and when we reload we can see that the difference is now gone it means the the site is perfectly appearing the image and the text that's the end of design for medium device now we are going to design for the small screen size when we decrease the browser's size from extra large to large it is okay the appearance is good and when we decrease from large to medium the appearance is okay because we have applied the design and from medium to small the image and the text are not appearing great because we haven't done any design for it therefore we go to the original page and we go to the grid layout and we see that the offset is taking around three columns and the image is taking around six columns this is for the small screen size therefore we go with sm class now we apply the image with call sm6 and we add offset offset sm3 therefore when we go to the page and reload we see that it is appearing good that's the end of design info small screen size the hero section now we are going to design for the extra small screen size you can see that from extra large to large the page is appearing good and from large to medium it is also appearing good and from medium to small we have also applied the design therefore it is appearing good and when we reach the extra small size it is not appearing great because we haven't applied any design And when we compare with the original design, we can see that some offset is there to the left. But you don't need to calculate the exact number of columns because it is for the smallest screen size. You need to just get the idea of the number of columns. Therefore, looking at the design, I guess the offset is around 2 columns and the book is taking around 8 columns. Therefore, I go to the browser and type call 8 call 8 means for every width width for every screen size but it is only applied for the extra small screen size because all the other screen sizes are overrun overturned by the other designs therefore we, we type call 8 and offset 2 it means for extra small screen sizes columns are 8 book is taking is 8 columns and offset is 2 columns that's the end of the design for the extra small screen size. 
with that design we finish the design of hero section let's meet with the design of other section now we are going to design the about the author section to design that we have to create a row let's create the row and name the row about the author and commit it out at the end we write end of the about author and commit it out and inside that we have two headings therefore we have to go with the heading tags we have to apply a column with the class col12 it means for every screen size it will be 12 columns taking the full width of the parent element this heading is taking the full width therefore we go with col12 and create a column and name that column heading at the end we write end of heading and who is mr author text is taking h1 tag therefore we write we create h1 tag and in the inside that we write who is mr author and next one is taking it who is mr author and next one is taking h4 tag therefore we go with h4 tag and paste it he is the he is the most popular author in 2018 And we see that the text is centered in the column therefore we can apply the text center class we can apply it to the total column but I apply it to the h1 and h4 separately and when you go to the browser and reload we see that h1 and h4 are appearing great but the h1 section is having a background to apply that background we have to be having class I go with the class brush it is not from bootstrap it is from me i create that therefore type the brush class and inside style.css file i go with the brush class and apply the background image i have a separate image for h1 background i go with the url and inside the img folder i have brush1.png when i reload the browser i can see the brush is appearing in the background but it is not appearing well we have to apply some styling if you look at the brush image it is very large image therefore we have to get that image to the center of the section therefore we write background repeat no repeat it means it doesn't repeat and we go to the browser and reload we see that on the right part of the background is removed because it is not repeating now next we have to center the background image vertically and horizontally center and center then we go to the browser and reload we can see that the background image is up but not very good therefore we have to change the color of the text also when you go to the browser and reload we see that who is mr author section is now white colored but when you go to the original design we can see text shadow is applied for the original design therefore we have to apply that also therefore we go to the brush class and apply text shadow and I and I apply custom text shadow it is from CSS you don't need to worry about the code just worry about the shadow type 3px 3px and the color and I go to the browser and reload you can see that the shadow is applied and uh, and also for the h1 the who is mr author section some padding is there from top and bottom to apply that padding we go with py i apply the padding py2 i go with the class row bgr it is not from the bootstrap i create it therefore i go to the style.css file and type row bgr First, I need to apply the border if you look at the original design there is a border to apply the border I go with border width 0.3 rem and border style dashed and I go with the border color red custom code created by me when I go to the browser and reload you can see the border is appearing compared with the original design there is border if you look at the original design you can see the border and also the and also the background color is blue colored dark blue I go with the background color code and get a custom code 
for dark blue color and I go to the browser and reload I can see that the dark blue color is applied and then we can see the H4 appearing in black we have to change the H4 color into white it means the text white section is applied to the about other section totally therefore we go with the about other section and apply text white which is from bootstrap and reload the browser you can see that the text is appearing in white and also you can see some padding is there in the row BGR class therefore you have to apply the padding to the row therefore when you apply the padding to the row I go with PY4 it means from the top and the bottom padding is applied with 4 level and when we reload the browser we can see that the section is appearing great the H1 and H2 sections are appearing perfectly for the extra large screen size and also we need to create the next section to create the next section we have to apply some styling before that we can see that some margin is there from the previous section and this row therefore to apply that margin we go with MT5 the row and when we reload the browser we can see that the margin is applied to the about author section now when we compare with the original design we can see that both are same except the next sections and also there is another one another section has to be designed it is the horizontal line you can barely see the horizontal line between h1 tag and h4 tag it means heading 1 and heading 4 In, inside that we have a horizontal line to apply that horizontal line we go with hr tag in between h1 and h4 and go to the browser and reload you will see the difference now it is applied same with the original design when you compare with the original design now it is same except the next sections we will discuss those sections in the next videos now we are going to design the author image and author text section first we design for the extra large screen size to design it first we create a row and name it face and details and comment it out and we go to the end and type end of face and details and also comment it out inside that we need two columns for the face and for the text if you look at the grid design the picture is taking around three columns and there is an offset of one column for the picture and therefore in the editor we go with a column with the class of call excel 3 for the picture and for the offset we go with offset excel 1 next we add the image image of the face and add the class img fluid to make the image responsive and if you look at the grid layout again and if you look at the grid layout again the paragraph is taking around four columns and there is an offset of two columns on the left side of the paragraph therefore we go to the text editor and type another column with the author details and we give it the classes of call excel 4 for the paragraph content and call offset excel 2 for the offset and when you go to the browser and reload we see that the image is on the left and the paragraph is on the right it is not very good therefore we need some editing and if we go to the extra small design the image is appearing first and the text is appearing second but the text and the image should appear separately it means change in the direction from small medium large and extra large devices it means in the small medium ex large and extra large devices the image should be appearing second and the text should be appearing first to change the order we go with go with the class order sm12 and order sm1 you can apply these classes order sm12 and order sm1 uh, to the sections that you want to rotate therefore i add order sm12 to the image and order sm1 to the paragraph and reload and you can see that the image and the paragraph has changed therefore we can use order sm12 and order sm1 to rotate the sections in different screen sizes and if you look at the extra large size again in the paragraph we need some padding from the top therefore I go to the paragraph section 
and type PT Excel 4 which means padding top is applied for the Excel size and the size is 4. Therefore I go to the browser and reload and I can see that padding is applied for the paragraph. And also we have to take the paragraph and the picture downward therefore we have to apply the padding for the total face and details section face and details row therefore we go to the face and details row and apply pt4 therefore the paragraph and the picture will be moved downward because of this pt4 class and when we go to the browser and reload we can see that the paragraph and the picture is now taken downward because of the pt4 padding applied to the row and also we need to apply another design for the paragraph it is text justify it means it will justify the text in the paragraph therefore we go to the author details paragraph and apply the class text justify from bootstrap and we go to the browser and reload we can see that the paragraph is now having the style of text justify and also if you look at the paragraph again and compare with the original design we can see that some padding is applied for the left and the right sections it means uh, if you go to the extra small screen size we can see that without the padding the paragraph is not looking great therefore with the padding the paragraph is looking great therefore we go to the text editor and type px4 it means for the left and for the right sides the padding is applied therefore we go to the browser and reload we can see that now the padding is applied to the left and right therefore in the extra small devices it will look great now we have designed the author image and the text section for extra large screen size. In the next video we go with the large, the large and lower screen sizes and therefore we will meet in the next video. Now we are designing the author image and text section for large and below screen sizes. And if you look at the extra large design, the same design should be applied for large screen size also. Therefore we apply the extra large design for the large screen size by changing Excel class into LG class. Therefore, we go to the image section in the coding and change Excel class into LG class in every class. And we go to the paragraph section and we change all Excel classes into LG class. And also, if you look at the extra small screen size, there is some padding applied in between the image and the paragraph. Therefore, we are going to apply the padding for paragraph. Therefore, we are going to apply the padding for the paragraph only for the extra small screen size. Therefore, we just apply PT1. PT1 means for every screen size, there will be a padding top of one value. But we have to apply that padding top only for extra small screen size. Therefore, we have to delete all the other padding top that is applied for all the other screens. Therefore, we now go with PTSM0. It means with PT1, we, you apply padding top for extra small and every device size and with PTSM0 you apply no padding for small and all the other larger screen sizes therefore with PT1 and PTSM0 you apply padding top 1 only for extra small screen size and if you go to the browser and reload you can see that in extra small screen size there is some padding applied and for all the other screen sizes there is no padding top applied for the paragraph now we have finished sign of large screen size now we go to the medium screen size and if you look at the grid layout you can see that the image is taking around four columns and there is an offset on the left side of the image and the paragraph is also taking five columns and there is some offset one column offset on the left side and therefore we go to the text editor and for the image we type call md4 and offset md1 and for the paragraph we type call md5 and offset md1 and we go to the browser and reload we can see that it is appearing good but if you look at the medium screen design the me the image has to come downward only for the medium screen size therefore we go to the image and type ptmd4 and we have to delete that design for large and extra large screen size therefore we go with ptlg0 Therefore, PTMD4 means for medium and larger medium and larger screen sizes, the padding top is 4. But PTLG0 means for large and extra large screen sizes, padding top will be 0. Therefore, with those two classes, we apply padding top of 4 value only for the MD class. If I go to the browser and reload, you can see that the image is coming downward. And that is the end of designing for medium screen size. Now we go to the small screen size. 
and if you look at the design it is not appearing very good and also we are going to apply the same designing for small size also if you look at the grid layout you can see that the image is taking around five columns and the paragraph is taking seven columns therefore we go to the text editor and type colsm5 for the image and colsm7 for the paragraph and if you go to the browser and reload we can see that in the small design type it is appearing good and also we can see that in the small the image should come downward therefore we go to the image section and apply padding top ptsm5 and we don't need to go with ptmd0 or something because we have another class with ptmd4 therefore we are only type ptsm5 it will be applied to the small screen size only the padding top will be of 5 value we go to the browser and reload and we can see that the image is going downward and that is the end of designing for small screen size and we go again to the extra small screen size and look at the design it is appearing good but the difference between the image and the paragraph is small we have to add padding to that also therefore we earlier we applied pt1 therefore we are going to change that pt1 into pt3 and we go to the browse and reload we can see that the padding top is now large therefore we have finished the design of every screen size now we are going to add features therefore we go to the text editor and create a row and name it with the name features and commit it out and at the end we write end of features and also commit it out and inside the row we need to create a heading and that headings design is same with the previous headings design therefore we have to copy that previous design of a heading with the brush class therefore to apply that previous design we go with call 12 and apply pt4 padding top 4 and go with h1 with the class brush and we copy the total section from a previous section of h1 brush class and paste it here then we apply the hr tag also and we go to the browser and reload we can see that it is appearing good then we need to create another row for features if you look at the original design there are if you look at the original design there are four features applied to apply those features inside the row we have to create columns these columns are applied only for small and larger devices for extra small devices these columns do not apply from left and right therefore we go with sm class and if you look at the grid design we can see that the grid is taking around five columns for each feature therefore we go with call sm5 class and also there is an offset in the grid layout of one in the first feature therefore we go with offset sm1 and inside the first feature section I go with an image to show the image that you have to the image folder and now you write the home.png image and also I have a paragraph I paste some dummy text and I apply some padding to the paragraph pt3 and I go to the browser and reload I can see that image and the paragraph is appearing somewhat great and we copy the content of the first feature item to the second feature item and reload and we can see that there are two feature items and we need to change the image also in the second feature item therefore I go with the image comments.png and I need to center the text therefore I apply the class text center to the first feature and I can see that the text and the image are centered and like that I apply the text center class to the second feature also it is better to add comments for all the sections that you have therefore I add the comment items at the start of the main row and name it items 1 and we add the second list of items it means I copy the total items 1 section and add it downward and rename it with items 2 therefore when I go to the browser and reload I can see two sections Then I change the image of the second section, the items 2 section. First it is check.png and the second image is envelope.png 
and I go to the browser and reload and I can see that the images have been changed and for every feature I have to apply some padding to the left and right therefore without applying individually I go with items one row and apply px padding x-axis I apply px5 and reload the browser and I can see that the first section has changed and I go with the same px5 with the items 2 section also and reload the browser and you can see that it is applied each section should be having margin top of uh, something because each section of features should appear with having the margin in between especially in extra small devices therefore we have to add, add the margin mt5 I add for every section I add mt5 and I go to the browser and reload and go to the extra small screen size I can see that it is appearing very good with the margin top and therefore we can see that we have designed the features section for every screen size now we are going to add the testimonials section first we create a row and name it as testimonials and at the end we write end of testimonials and comment them out and also we have to create the same heading with the brush class applied therefore we go to the previous sections and copy some brush class design and apply it to a testimony section and we change the text main text is changed to testimonials and below that h1 tag we need another tag to show the second heading therefore we go with we copy the original text from the original design and we go with h3 tag and paste it total section has to be centered therefore I remove the text center class from h1 and add to the column therefore the total text is centered we have read a background for this text is centered we have read a background for this section therefore I go to the main row and add row bgr row bgr section and also I apply text white class from bootstrap if you can remember the row bgr class that we applied earlier all the designs in the row bgr class is also applied here or here it means the blue background and the border is also applied therefore when we reload we can see that the background is applied in color blue and the text is white if you look at the original design you can see that one testimonial section is taking around five columns and we are going to apply those design for medium and large screen sizes therefore I go with another row I create another row and inside that row I create a column with the class of call md5 because the testimonial section is taking around five columns and I go with offset md1 and it means offset is one column if you look at the original design and I copy that one and paste the same thing downward it means the second testimonial section and I remove that offset md1 because for the second section there is no offset then I start the designing first I add the image of the first testimonial section I go with img tag and add the image the image name is t1.jpg and under that we apply the dummy text and I copy the content of the first testimonial section and paste it in the second testimonial section and change the image to t2 and I go to the browser and reload and I can see that the images and the texts are applied not in the design that we want first I have to make the images responsive therefore I go with the class img fluid and make the image responsive and I go with another class from bootstrap it is rounded circle class it will make the image rounded in a circle therefore I apply the class to the second one also second testimonial section when I go to the browser and reload I can see that the image is now rounded then I have to center the text therefore I go with the text center class for the total row and I go to the browser and reload and you can see that the text and the image are now centered then I need to apply the name of the person and the post therefore I go with h5 tag and paste the name and the company name and I go to the browser and reload I can see that it is applied not in the way that we want 
to get the name and the company name for two lines I apply the BR tag the line break when I go to the browser and reload and you can see that it is appearing in two lines the same path to the second testimonial section also the same name and the same company name and you go to the browser and reload and you can see that it is appearing now we need to take the total testimonial section downward therefore to take it downward we should apply some padding to the row I apply padding top 3 I go to the browser and reload and you can see that it is moved downward then I have to add some left and right padding to the description therefore I go with the class px5 px5 means to the left and to the right the padding value is 5 I go to the browser and reload and you can see that the padding is applied to the left, left and right of the first person's testimonial section and also I apply some margin to the first person's testimonial section margin, margin top 5 I go with mt5 and reload you can see that it is applied and also I need to apply some top margin to the total row also therefore I go to the start of the testimonial section the row and apply mt and apply mt5 and reload the browser and you can see that there is a separation to the previous section and also I remove the HR section which is the horizontal line and I go to the browser and reload and you can see that the horizontal line is removed now and also I add px5 and mt5 classes to the second testimonial section and I go to the browser and reload and you can see that the section is appearing great now and also now I add a horizontal line to the bottom of these two testimonials I go with HR tag and add these HR tags separately and I reload the browser and you can see that the horizontal line is applied and when I decrease the screen size you can see that there, sh there should be a space between the image and the testimonials text and to add the space I go with the PT class I apply PT3 to these two section sections paragraphs of testimonials and I go to the browser and reload and you can see that the image and the testimonials text are separately appearing without any issue therefore that is the end of the design of testimonials for every screen size now we are going to create the bonus of a section to create that first we create the row and comment with the bonus of us and at the end we write end of bonus of us and comment it out now we create the heading h1 if you look at the heading it is it says bonus of us but the design is same with the previous design therefore since it is taking the full width we go with call 12 class and also we apply padding to the top and bottom therefore I go with the class PY PY4 it will apply padding to the top and the bottom with the value of 4 and to center the text I write text center and inside that I need to create two headings without creating it separately I go to the previous section of testimonials and copy the h1 and h3 and paste it here and I go to the browser and reload you can see that it is appearing but we have to change the text therefore therefore change h1 into bonus offers and change h3 into order now and get these bonus offers absolutely free and I go to the browser and reload it is appearing great and also I need to add a horizontal line in between h1 and h3 therefore I go with hr tag and I go to the browser and reload you can see that it is appearing there's a space between it h1 and h3 and also I need to add some margin to separate this section with the previous section therefore I go with the row and type mt5 with that I add the margin of value 5 to the top and I go to the browser and reload you can see that the margin is applied therefore we have completed the heading section of the bonus products we'll design the next part in the next video now we are going to create the bonus products therefore first I create a row and name the row and I name the row bonus 1 and I go to the grid layout if you look at the grid layout the image is taking 4 columns and the text is taking 6 columns and therefore I go to the text editor and create two new columns first one is named call excel 4 for the image and second one is named call excel 6 I create the first one and type bonus image and commit it out and second column is named bonus text and commented out 
and also you have one column offset for the image I go with that and type offset Excel one and inside that image section I enter the image gift one dot jpg and I go to the and I go to the browser and reload you can see that the image is appearing and I make the image responsive with the class img fluid and when I reload you can see that the image is too small it is because there is no text on the right side and also I add the rounded class with that rounded class the image is appearing somewhat rounded and also I go to the bonus text section and in that you can see a heading is there therefore I type h2 and go with bonus one and at the class text center and also I add some dummy text with the paragraph tag and give it the class text justify and I go to the browser and reload you can see that the heading and the text are appearing great then I need to move the bonus text section total section downward therefore I go with the, the class pt3 and reload you can see that the total section of the text is going downward and also I need to apply some left and right padding to the explanation text of the bonus one therefore I go with px5 and go to the browser and reload you can see that the padding to the left and right are applied and also I need to take the total section downward therefore I go to the product row and apply top margin I apply MT3 it means margin top 3 and I go to the browser and reload you can see that the top margin is applied for the image and the bonus text and that is the end of creating the first bonus product now I'm going to create the other bonus products therefore I copy the total bonus one section and paste it at the bottom and change the comments bonus one to bonus two and at the end we write bonus two again end of bonus two and I go to the browser and reload you can see that the exact product is appearing as the bonus two then I change h2 into bonus two and I change the image name gift to and I go to the browser and reload you can see that the image and the heading are now different and if you look at the original design the image is on the right side and the text is on the left side therefore we have to rotate the sections before that I add a horizontal line in between these two products in between these two products and I go to the browser and reload you can see that there is a horizontal line in between these two products then I go to the large screen size in that screen size the product and the text are appearing not good therefore I need to change and apply the same design to the large screen size also therefore I go to the text editor and change Excel classes in the image and text section into LG classes therefore that same design that we see in the Excel screen type will be applied to the large screen size also when I reload the browser I can see that it is appearing good and when we further reduce the screen size into medium we can see that the image is not appearing great therefore we have to center the image I go to the bonus image one section and apply text center class and to the second image also I apply text center class and I go to the browser and reload you can see that the image images are centered therefore it is appearing good in every screen size If you look at the original design the second image should be on the right side not on the left side it means we have to rotate the image of the second section the image should be taken to the right and the text should be taken to the left but in smaller screens it should not differ it means only in large and extra large screens the image and the text should rotate therefore I apply order LG 12 and order LG1 classes to the image and the text first we apply it to the image or order LG12 and to the text order LG1 and 
I reload, I can see that the text and the image are now rotated in the large screen sizes and extra large screen sizes. And when we reload, it is not appearing good because there is an offset applied. The offset of the image is taking place. Therefore, we have to change the offset of the image into image into the offset of the paragraph. Therefore, we remove the offset of the image and add that into the paragraph. It means the paragraph now takes the offset LG1. And I go to the browser and reload. You can see that the image and the bonus text are appearing very good. And when I decrease the screen size, they are appearing great. Therefore, now we have designed the bonus products for different screen sizes. Now we are creating the call to action section. It is somewhat same with the hero section. Therefore we go to the hero section and copy the total text and paste it at the bottom and name the section as call to action section. When I go to the browser and reload you can see that it is appearing but it is the hero section not the section that we want. And we go to the original design and look at the design. The right side is changed. First we have to add the regular price section, therefore I erase the T1 and T2 classes, the total paragraphs and I go to the T3 paragraph and change the text, regular price 59 USD and I go to the browse and reload, it is appearing but I need to add the deleted line in between, therefore I have to add the code DEL del tag in between del tag i have to add between del tag i have to add the regular price 59 usd therefore i go with the del tag and remove the price section and add the price section in the inside the del tag and i go to the browser and reload you can see that regular price is 59 usd and it is deleted with a line and also i need to add a horizontal line in between the price and the second text therefore i go with hr tag and I go to the browser and reload. The difference is appearing with the horizontal line. Then we need to add the new price today 19 US dollars. Therefore, I create a new paragraph and add the text today just 19 USD. And I add a new class price, a class created by me, not bootstrap, and center the text with text center class. And I go to the style.css file and edit the price class. The font size is changed into 2 rem, two rem and the font weight is changed into 600 and the color is changed with my custom color code that I have and I go to the browser and reload you can see that the text is appearing great. Next we have to create the payment image below the button. I go below the button and add an image with the image name credit.png and I add img fluid class to make the image responsive and I go to the browser and reload the image is appearing great but the image and the button should be having a separate space therefore I go with the hr tag horizontal line I add the horizontal line as the original design I go to the browser and reload and the call to action section is now appearing good and when we decrease the browser size and go to the extra small size you can see that the image in the call to action section is not having any space considered with the previous section therefore we need to change the space that we have already added we go to the start of the call to action section and change py2 into py5 and we go to the browser and reload 
now the space is there in the extra small section and therefore we have now finished designing the call to action section now we are designing the social media icons section in the footer therefore I create a column with the col12 class and I name it footer and at the end I name it end of footer and comment them out first I create the Facebook link to create that I go with the anchor tag in that anchor tag I type facebook.com you can type your Facebook address here I just type page facebook.com and add the image facebook.png and I go to the browser and reload and we can see that the Facebook image is appearing but it is not very good then I give it the class social and next I add the other social icons the same way changing all the addresses here I show you only the list I changed every address and every social icon and every social icon because I have a social class applied I can edit it in the style.css file I go to the style.css file and go to the social class and edit the width of the icon I change the width into 35 pixels and reload the browser and you can see the width has changed and I add margin left 5 pixels and I also add the text center class to the footer section and I go to the browser and reload and you can see that the icons are appearing in the middle then I'm going to add the copyright section to add that I go with cocol 12 class and inside that I have a paragraph and in the paragraph I add the copyright text then I add the text center class if you go to the browser and reload you can see that it is appearing but some padding has to be applied therefore I go with py3 class in the section and I reload and you can see that it is applied and it is looking great and with that footer design we have finished the total page design